And I'm Bo Williams. Thank you for joining us. We do have breaking news. We're now learning the fire right now is 30% contained in the Wares Valley area. Again, the fire right now, 30% contained. But there is a new mandatory evacuation that has been ordered due to wildfires burning in Sevier County right now. Just in the last half hour, the county ordered the Smoky Ridgeway area to evacuate. That's off of Wares Valley Road, if you're familiar with that area. Now, we're told the Pigeon Forge Community Center is still operating as a shelter for those who need some room right now while they wait to see what's happening with their homes. Exactly. You know, meanwhile, this morning, we learned more about the degree of devastation caused by the ongoing wildfires. We're told the fire spread to 3,700 acres throughout the Wares Valley area. More than 100 buildings have been damaged, but luckily, no lives have been lost. We're so thankful for that. And at last check, two firefighters were hurt, as well as one resident. Five fire trucks were also damaged in the flames, but county leaders say things could have been much worse. They're crediting an emergency plan put in place after the 2016 wildfires and community action once those evacuations were ordered. Uh, it made us aware of, of, of what could happen, uh, and, and so I think it made the public aware of what could happen, and I think they, uh, everybody took this very seriously from the time uh, that the call was received uh, yesterday morning all the way through. The, uh, the, uh, all of the firefighters, the team that was in place, the public, I think everybody took it very seriously because of what happened. Now, as of this morning, 70 agencies have been called to help fight the flames and approximately 200 firefighters working to keep the fire contained. We also learned that six Black Hawk helicopters with Tennessee National Guard are on board. Uh, uh, guardsmen are on board responding to the wildfires. They'll be dumping hundreds of gallons of water to help get those flames out. Our team coverage tonight starts with WATE 6 on your side reporter, Kristen Gallant. As a matter of fact, she spent the day with fire crews and joins us now live from Wears Valley. Kristen. Yeah, that's right, guys. As you mentioned, firefighters have come from around the state right here to Sevier County to help fight this fire. I spoke to one who was from Middle Tennessee, and he was working to cut down trees. Now, this is just one of several staging areas here that they can come to and take a break. Valley View Baptist Church has always opened its doors when this community is met with tragedy. Back in 2016 with the Gatlinburg fires, this was one of several staging areas, and here we are yet again today. I'm proud of them. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, people who've been here their whole life, you know, and, and shared in the community, do what we can. And a lot of people's moved in. We've been, been blessed with a lot of people that's moved in, so they're good folks too. Now, Willie Bryan, who you just heard from there, said his home is safe from the fire at the moment. He says his priority right now is helping his community. Besides this location, there is another command center at the Pigeon Forge Elementary School. This fire is massive, so a lot of these crews will probably be here relying on these command centers for days. Reporting in Sevier County, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6, on your side. Thanks. All right, Kristen, thank you. A moment ago, you heard from Sevier County Mayor Larry Waters. He estimates right now 11,000 homes are inside the current evacuation zone. As a matter of fact, you'll see the zone here in red. Uh, several shelters have been set up for those evacuating. One shelter, we understand, located at Pigeon Forge Community Center. This is on Community Center Drive. Then the Sevierville Convention Center on Gist Creek Road, also open to families in need. And then Seymour Heights Christian Church on Boyd's Creek Highway opened its doors to anyone displaced by the fire. WATE 6 on your side reporter Veronica Obey has spent the day at one of those evacuation shelters. And she's been hearing from Sevier County residents and visitors alike that evacuated from the fire zone yesterday. So Veronica